Hi, my name is Katharina, and today I'm going to be talking about squash bee identification, and more specifically, we'll be looking at how to tell squash bees from honeybees. There are actually a few different kinds of squash bees found in the Americas, and if you live in the south, you might see the large squash bee, which is in the genus Xenoglossa, but today I'm going to be talking about the squash bee that is found across much of North America, whose scientific name is Pipinapis pruinosa. This bee is a solitary ground nesting bee that only collects pollen from squash, pumpkin, and some gourd flowers. And there are a number of different types of bees that you might see visiting flowers of these crop plants in your fields or in your garden. You might see green sweat bees, tiny dark sweat bees, large carpenter bees, fuzzy black and yellow bumblebees. Um, this is actually a picture of a bumblebee from California, but if you live on the East Coast, you'll see different kinds of bumblebees. And of course, you might find some squash bees and honeybees. Now, of all of these bees, the trickiest to tell apart are the squash bees and the honeybees because they're about the same size and they have similar coloration. So I'm going to focus on them. Now, the main thing you'll want to do when you're trying to tell a squash bee from a honeybee is to look at the bee's hind legs. Honeybees have these wide, flat-looking hind legs. If they're actively collecting pollen, they'll carry that pollen in a moist clump using the pollen basket on the upper part of the leg. And squash bees, on the other hand, have uh, hind legs that look more round and hairy, which dry pollen sticks to. And here you can see a moist pollen clump sticking to the upper part of this honeybee's hind leg. And in this picture of the squash bee, you can see how that pollen is clinging to the entire length of the leg and it looks very dry, it looks like dry dust. Now um, that you've had some uh, time to hear some tips on how to tell honeybees from squash bees, we'll take a quick quiz so you can practice your IDs. So this is the first picture. It's a tricky one because the photo is not that clear. I took it, but I'll give you a hint. You'll want to focus on the shape of the hind leg. Now, are you ready? If you guessed honeybee, then you are correct. Even though this bee has loose pollen on it, you can see how wide and flat looking the hind leg is. Are you ready for the next one? I'll give you one more second. This is a squash bee. Hopefully you noticed how hairy those hind legs are, um, especially compared to the honeybee. And now here's the last one. And I'd like you to focus on the bee in the foreground. This one is also a little bit tricky, but the answer is honeybee. You can see that moist pollen clump on the upper hind leg. So hopefully you have a better sense of how to tell squash bees from honeybees. If you'd like to know how to tell male squash bees from female squash bees, take a look at our other squash bee identification video. Also, I want to warn you that there are actually a lot of native bees that have hairy legs. So these identification tips are really just for bees that you see in your squash and pumpkin flowers. Thanks for listening and keep spreading the word about our important crop pollinators. Funding for this video was provided by the Western Sustainable Agriculture Research and Education Program and the National Science Foundation's Graduate Student Research Fellowship Program. Additional support was provided by the Department of Entomology at the University of California in Davis.